Guys, guys, there's snow. Look at it around. For the first time ever, there's snow. All right, guys, on today's video, we're gonna be talking to you about the ultimate snowblower buying guide to help you guys make the best decision when buying your snowblower for 2020 and 2021. Now, I know a lot of you guys are actually watching this video real time, and there is a massive snow blizzard and snowstorm uh, going through the East Coast and the Northeast. Because I have all these different locations saved across the country, snow alert, special weather statement, it's snowmageddon, it's snowmageddon 2021. So that means we have to look at snowblowers and hopefully help you guys make the best buying choice going into this winter season. Without further ado, let's jump into the video, do a little walk around on all the different snowblowers, and by the time we're done, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite snowblower pick that I think is the ultimate snowblower setup. So you guys can see, this is our snowblower lineup that we're gonna be rocking through 2020 and 2021. Now we'll do a cold start, we'll start them all up here in just a quick second, but let's talk the units, let's talk about the numbers, let's talk about which ones are great for what. Starting up top, we've got the 518. This is the little guy, and this is clocking in at around 400 bucks. Moving down the line, the 721, the QZR, seven horsepower, 21 inch width. This one's clocking in at about $600. The 821, same thing, about six to 700 bucks. This is the new version of the 721. You can see a lot of styling changes. This is coming in again, six to 700 bucks. And then this guy was actually provided to us to uh, show and share with you guys from Toro. We have not put this to the test just yet, but look at this thing, absolute beast. This is the Powertrax HD. This thing is running around $3,000, depending on which uh, you know big box store or dealer you guys shot from. All right guys, so let's go through starting them all up just so you guys know how they sound. Hey, by the way, I feel like we're back to doing reviews in the driveways again. A little throwback to four years ago. Hey, by the way, the driveway looks a little different. You know, your boy's making some progress. This time it's my driveway, not my mom's driveway. Let's start up the 518 snowblower. things are a little cold haven't really started them up too often so that's the 518 four to five horsepower right this is the 821 this is their new guy haven't really had the chance to use it just yet but I'll show you guys right here right now And then we've got the 721. Let's do the big guy. Tell you what, this thing is a monster, and those tracks, they just feel like this thing could power through anything. And actually, it's pretty light enough to like toggle around and just kind of jerk around if you need to get it into a different position. I'm 170 pounds soaking wet. If I can muscle this thing, any of you guys that are 200 pounds should be able to throw this thing around no problem. All right, so let me help you guys out a little bit more with making the buying choices and the decisions on the different snowblowers. Let's talk to them a little bit more in length about each one. Ugh as I come down here uh, on the knees 
Uh, they're getting a little bit older. Big thumbs up if you guys can do me a big solid. I'm actually enjoying putting this video together for you guys. So let's talk about the different lineup that we got here. The first one, the 518 Snowblower. Now again, coming in at about 400 bucks, it weighs about 50 pounds. An ideal use situation is those snowstorms between one and four maybe five inches of snow. So the reality is that because a snowblower only weighs 50 pounds, it's usually one of my go-to snowblowers for the smaller snowstorms and the smaller events. You guys can see that it's almost half the size or maybe two thirds the size of that 721. Now the reason I like taking it around most often is because it only weighs 40 or 50 pounds. Now, if you're a homeowner, it's not that big of a deal to, you know, uh, tote this thing around the driveway, knock out the sidewalks or the front steps. However, if you're a contractor and you're loading the snowblower in and out of the bed of your truck, especially if you have a dump insert that makes it about another foot taller, hoisting that thing in and out about 50 to 60 times can get a little tiring for you and your guys. As we continue down the line here, a lot of you guys are going to be using the 721 and the 821 snowblowers. Now, you guys can see that there's 21 inches wide and there's a 10 inch inlet, if I'm not mistaken, for the snow. These are gonna be ideal for a lot of you guys dealing with that New England Northeast snowstorm that's cutting through right now. And then any snowstorm that's going to be anywhere from, you know, the four to eight inch range. Again, that bigger inlet is going to allow you to take in more snow and also shoot it out a lot quicker, especially with that seven or eight horsepower engine compared to maybe that five horsepower engine with the 518. This will get through a lot of that slushy, wet snow, maybe get that snowfall in the early uh, November, maybe late March, and it's kind of that carryover mix slush. This is the kind of snowblower that's going to punch through for that kind of snow. Last but not least, as you guys know, we have the huge tracked version, two-stage snowblowers. Again, as we were talking earlier, this is gonna be great for your municipalities, your larger universities, maybe it's a, a retired community complex. And the benefit of this beyond uh, just moving large amount of snow, like maybe in Colorado or somewhere in the mountains where you get those two to three feet snow forecasts, not the 12 to 18 inch snow forecast, is the wider width. So maybe you're taking a large sidewalk or path all the way down, and you don't have to shuttle all the way down and all the way back. That's where this 32, 30-ish, whatever an inch uh, wide path is going to come into uh, huge help with not having to go back and forth, back and forth. So I like the wide stance, but of course, it's gonna be a little heavy to transport for those commercial contractors. So this is something that's probably gonna stay on site when you're doing snow removal. Now, last but not least, we want to make sure that we're showing some of our friends in the ice management some love, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor. A little plug for these guys, we have them in the garage. This is what we're using for our business in 2020, 2021. We got the JetBlue Ice Melt. This is from Tilson Brands. A lot of you guys love this. This is their staple product, their Cadillac of Ice Melt. This is what we're using. And we also have a little partnership with Earthway like I was talking about earlier. Brian's 10 actually does work with these guys. Check it out on the website. This is their Snow Ice Melt Salter that we have that we're gonna be taking with us. And also these new Protec shovels. Now, a lot of you guys have been picking these up off of their website and just in general, but you got that fiberglass handle, you got the little hitch pin assembly that can take this out, remove the whole uh, handle of the shovel, it can collapse, tuck it under the seat, put it behind the truck bed. I love this scraper, this polyurethane slash plastic cutting edge a lot more than those metal scraping edges. This is the way to go. This is the Cadillac of shovels. Make sure you guys check those guys out at the Earthway products on their website. By the way, put down that jet blue. This wasn't even in 10 minutes. How cool is that? Oh. 
All right guys, so you've heard me talk at length about which snow blowers I like and why. Here's the deal, I want you guys to leave in the comment section down below, what snow blowers are you running? Are you running something different than Toro? That's fine too. That just happens to be what my dealer services and sells, so we rock the Toros. Whether or not you guys are using single stage or two stagers, the bottom line is we gotta get the work done. And the question I get a lot, Brian, what is your favorite snowblower? What is the ultimate snowblower to get? For me personally, I love the Toro 721s and the 821s. The 721, it weighs 80 to 90 pounds. You can hoist it in and out of a truck. Anything with a nice little bed, you can put one of those little uh, wheelchair accessible ramps uh, you know, on the back of a tailgate, that works too. Just bungee cord it over or use a tow strap or a tie down to keep it safe and secure. But you know what? They're 600 bucks, they weigh 90 pounds, they will last literally forever, okay? Change the oil, change the belts, change the pulleys, and change the scraper bar, and change the oil once a year, and you're good to go. I mean, literally that 721 is probably three or four years old. I just sold off a 621 last winter, and that thing was four or five years old. They just simply last. So stock up on extra parts, stock up on extra supplies, keep those uh, in your tool shed or you know in your tool drawers as backups in case you break a belt or the scraper bar goes raw. But at the end of the day, great solid snowblower. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was super helpful for you. I'm gonna leave some other great videos here that you guys can check out if you want to learn a little bit more about snow plowing, the do's and don'ts, and some of the other equipment that we like, including plowing out some driveways. All right, guys, if you're checking out this video real time and you got that storm coming, that 18 to 24 inches up there in the northeast and the east coast, be safe out there, make good choices, but go plow that snow and make that dough.